Hey guys, it's Melissa. I'm going to be showing you a couple tricks, stuff, and how to rebuild a cylinder. A uh, hydraulic cylinder. This is just a little baby one-off skid steer, but and I already have it disassembled, but I'm going to show you some things, some little tricks, and kind of how to do the snap ring style ones. So, so this little ring actually goes inside the cylinder in a little lip. As you can see, I partly damaged it taking this out, but it actually, so what you do is this is your rod guide. There's a snap ring that goes on the outside. So this sits on the rod inside the cylinder as such. You take that outer snap ring out and you push this inside the cylinder just enough to get that in there. And then that will compress this snap ring and allow it to come out. Okay, so here we have the cylinder rod that I took out. This is the nut securing it on there. Usually they are secured with red Loctite. Uh, if you can't get it off, just heat it, melt the Loctite, and then it'll come off. Um, the first component that comes off is this. This is the piston. It sits on there like such. You pull the nut out, pull the piston off. That's the seal you'll be replacing. Uh, this particular one is unitized, so this black stuff is actually part of the mold of this piston, so you cannot replace that. If that's damaged, you have to replace the whole piston. Second thing you'll pull off once you get that off is this. This is that rod guide I was showing you. So it comes off like such. And then you can... So, once you get ready to start resealing um, this piston, like I told you, the CL seal is the only thing on here that is actually resealable. Um, and so how I do those is I will take the old one and... I pry it up just enough to be able to cut it with a razor blade, and then I cut it and pull it off. Uh, how I get the new one on, which I'm not going to take this one off because I've already put the new one on, is I will, you can sit here and pull these and stretch them out, and you want to stretch it out just enough to get it over the piston into the groove. And after you get it into the groove, I will show you what that trick is on how I get that seal to suck back up, and if you don't do this, you run a risk of damaging the seal. So that this is electrical tape this is what I use to keep the seal from getting damaged when I shrink it so what I do is I take the electrical tape and I tape all the way around it a couple of times You don't need to get too crazy, but then I take hose clamp. And I shrink it down over the piston. You don't have to do this twice. So do it once, shrink it down, then rotate this clamp because it'll leave a little bit of a high spot where the actual thing is. And just do it a couple times in a couple different spots. And it will shrink that piston down to where it will not get caught on the cylinder barrel and rip. For really big cylinders, I just get, honestly, really giant clamps, or I put a bunch of them together. So, I suck that down, and let it sit for a few minutes, rotate it, and then um, suck it down again. Rotate it. Get 
Doesn't have to be super Hulk tight, just enough to snug it down. It does not have to be much. But there you go. So, then. And you take it off. See that little hole right there? That's why I electrical tape it because that actually cut through the electrical tape. If you do not have enough electrical tape on it or you don't put anything at on at all, that's what it'll do to the piston. It'll rip right through the piston seal. Now, it's nice and shrinked up, and that is ready to be installed on the end of the rod. So I have already done the outer seals on this one, but I'm gonna, I am have not done the inner seals. So I'm gonna take those out. How I do it is I take, start at the top, take them out, flip them over, take them out, flip them over, and I stack them like that. That way I know reverse I can just, oh, flip it, goes back in that way, flip it, goes it back in that way. That's the order at which they go, uh, and I can copy it with the new seals. So that is how I do it. Top one, flip it, set it down. sleeve and then this one because the bottom one because I already flipped it over won't have to be flipped over when I set it in the pile it'll just go straight on and that way I will know that this is the bottom seal these things can be a motherfucker to get out but Especially the little ones are actually harder than the big cylinders to get back in and back out. So I tied this out, this little seal ring. I know faces down, so put it back in there. So when I go to assemble it, I will take the new one of this, put it in there. Then I'll flip it over, or I'll put the wear, this wear guide in first. That's what I do first, just to make sure. Put the wear guide in, and then I will put this in, in the bottom, flip it over. And I will take this seal, flip it over, put it in the top. And that is how I keep track of the seals. That's how I reseal these. Yeah, then I re reassemble the entire cylinder in reverse order. So 